everyone, Amy Love here, and I am excited to be here today to share with you my first project uh, for the month of July for Team Sparkle. And I am using the beautiful August Rose by Trace of Sparkle. Look at this. Um, I don't have a bunch of the papers printed out because I did use some, and I don't like to print out things I know I'm not going to use. So this is just an example of the tags, some of the tags. Isn't this beautiful? I love how pink alicious this kit is. Um, here is one of the papers. It's so pretty. I did already uh, punch out a bunch of bows, which I will show you. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I was so excited to work with it. And I will have a link to August Rose below and to uh, Jennifer's Etsy store. And I will put a link to Jennifer's channel below too. Um, just in case you don't know who she is, you should go check her out. Her work inspires me so much. And I'm so excited to be a member of Team Sparkle. So what I decided to do this month is I wanted to uh, use the little file folders that were in the um, kit that I'm using, August Rose. And I wanted to make some like little happy mail folders because I'm starting to do uh, more giveaways and send out some happy mail. So I just thought it would be fun to do. So I'm gonna show you the basic one that I created that I haven't decorated yet. And then I will show you the one I decorated. So this is one of the file folders from the August Rose kit. Isn't it adorable? So I did sew around the edges and I did ink the edges with some tea stain from Tim Holtz. I just love that color. And then I sewed on some of this beautiful pink ribbon lace. It's just so pretty. And then um, on the inside, I created a lace pocket. And then these are from the kit. Let me show you. These tickets, they're so cute. So I made some little... Um, shaker tags with the uh, tickets that were in her kit and then I printed another one of her beautiful papers from the kit on the back so that um, both sides would be pretty so I made those and then here are two um, of the smaller tickets that come in the kit and I just printed on both sides using papers from the kit and then um, here is another one of the tickets so that you could see it without the um, lace on top. It's just plain. And I just printed this beautiful uh, paper from the kit on the back. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is just the blank one that I wanted to show you before I get it all decorated. Now I'll show you the one that I decorated. The one that's ready. Oh, I did also make what you saw the the bow punch outs. I did make some bows using her paper too. And aren't they so pretty? They're just so, so pretty. So that's the ones I have for that, the blank one. But here's the one that I created. It's just like a little, little happy mail folder. That's what we're going to call it. It's just cute. And I thought it would make just a nice gift to send someone, put a smile on their face. So this is another one of the file folders. There's two of them in her kit. So I used this one and I did the same. I sewed it and then I inked it. <clears throat> and on this one on the front, I created this little, um, what do you call that? It's not a collage. It's a, I don't know. It's a grouping of pretty flowers. I put some vintage lace uh, coming out from the bottom. I have peeking out on the sides some of the uh, pink bridal trim from Angel Dream Crafts. And then these, all of these beautiful flowers are also from Angel Dream Crafts. Don't you love it? Love it. And then I put these stamens. And then I created this little um, clothespin also using papers from the August Rose kit. And then this pretty bow, I actually, er, bow, butterfly, I purchased from someone on Facebook and I don't remember her name, but aren't they beautiful? They're just beautiful. And then I popped on um, a little stone that I got from Gisela. Love it. So that just clips right on there. And on the back, I created a pocket with this gorgeous lace also from angel dream crafts and then i used uh, the tickets from jennifer's uh, store to make these cute little just altered little tickets so this one i just stuck on a ribbon rose but look how pretty 
these tickets are look at that it's just it's just a gorgeous digital kit I just love it and then I just put a snippet of lace right there and they are double sided and on this one I put more of that pink applique and then one of my little tiny butterflies but look how pretty this ticket is it's just a beautiful kit to work with it was so much fun so on this ticket look at how cute uh, I put more of the uh, pink bridal trim and uh, uh, one of my double layered butterflies and then here's one of the bows that I created out of Jennifer's paper isn't it cute it's just so cute so that goes there and then when you um, untie the beautiful pink ribbon lace I just I love how dainty this is I just think it's adorable you've got this on the inside so over here is the shaker that I made with Jennifer's ticket isn't it cute and then I just added one of my uh, bows on top of some lace with a little piece of bling and then more of that really pretty ribbon lace as the uh, pull. It's so cute. I love, I love a shaker tag. And it's pretty on the back too. So that is what's going in there. And then I forgot to show you this because it's still drying. I made it for the other, uh, the blank one. So I cut these out of Jennifer's papers so pretty and then I stickled it up so it's still drying because I thought it would be nice to add a little gift of some lace to whomever I'm mailing it out to so that is what is here so I covered it with the lace already so you can't see how gorgeous it is so I wanted to make sure to show you that one but I just um, traced it around a traced around a, a lace bobbin that I had around and then um, cut it out of Jennifer's paper and put it uh, on some cardstock cardstock in the middle and then I put on this one this really pretty vintage lace it's so cute let me show you it's just sweet little little vintage lace I love it so that's what I put on here and then I added a bulb pin with one of these beautiful enamel butterflies from Angel Dream Crafts. I just love. And this is one of uh, Kim's flowers, too, that I popped on there. But isn't it? It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So I thought that would be a nice little gift uh, for someone. So that pops right in there. So this is my little, just little Happy Mail folders. Let's go with it. <laughs> And these little folders from her um, August Rose kit are just beautiful and adorable, and I was excited to play with them. So please leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And check my description box below for all the links. And I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.